be wrapped around your arms instead of being lonely We could be gazing at the stars But now it feels just like I wandered off into a room And closed the door behind me I never gave the key to you Even though I wanted to I should be trying something new But now my body's aching I'm tired of dwelling in the dark It's just that my heart can't take it I didn't know what it would cost me When I let you go I feel alone And I'm just singing mm, mm, mm. It should have been you Another time, another place I just know mm, It could have been you What a crime and what a shame to let go Sometimes I just don't know what to do It should have been you I could be driving to your place But now the crown is shaking Could be a face but it feels like It will never go away Until we make up I can't be myself I never knew how much I needed you Hey friends, good morning. Oh, happy Friday. It is Friday and I have not picked up my camera all week since I uploaded my last video. Um, I wanted to vlog today. I'm not in the best mood. I think that's obvious just from the first few seconds of this video. Um, the first few seconds of this intro. I'm, I'm not in the greatest mood but I know one thing that makes me very very happy and that is picking up my camera and talking with my friends. So um, we are vlogging today. I'm going to push past this just this funk that I have on me. I'm gonna push past it and shake it off, pray, and just um, do my best to still have a good day. So I've already reached out to one of my prayer warrior friends, asked her to pray for me, um, and we're just gonna move on and have a good day, because that's all we can do. So I have my coffee here, and I need to warm it up for the third time, so I'm thinking I'm just gonna pour it over ice and have iced coffee. I haven't had a nice coffee in a very long time. It is still cold here in Florida. Don't know what's going on, but it's been cold since like before Christmas. So we're over it. Us Floridians, we're over it. The Northerners, y'all can have your cold back. It is cold. <laughs> it's in the 50s again today. And that's cold. It's been cold for like almost a month. So I'm over it. We're over it. Time for us to get back to our sunny weather. It's also gloomy and muggy and kind of like misty rain outside so ugh. Um, anyway on the agenda today is um, go take care of my looking at Simba under the couch sleeping <laughs> go take care of my husband's car note that needs to be paid I'm having groceries delivered we bit the bullet and signed up for Walmart grocery um, we used to be signed up for Walmart grocery but um, it I didn't always love the items they picked out for me. That's just me being a control freak. Um, but we went ahead and signed up for it. It's worthwhile to just have it delivered and um, delivered and just sent to the house. So that's what we're doing. I'm pretty sure I have a referral code. If you use that referral code and you wanna sign up or sign back up for Walmart Plus, you get $20 off your first order. Um, and your order can be like as cheap as you, I wanna say if you spend at least 40, then you get 20 off. Um, and it would include your uh, free delivery for signing up for Walmart Plus. So um, using that link will also get me $20 off, but I'm gonna do my best to remember to leave the link below in the description box. That way if you want to sign up for Walmart Plus, you can use my link, get 20 bucks off, and have your groceries delivered. I especially recommend this for my apartment, home, living folks. Um, it's just, to me, it's worth it to pay the $13 a month and or the $98 a year, which works out to be like $10 a month, a little less than $10 a month. Um, if you sign up for the year, it's $98 once a month, once a year, but I just do it monthly. Um, and yeah, so I'll leave that information down below. So I'm having groceries delivered, so that means a grocery haul will be up on my channel hopefully over the weekend. Um, my insurance cards came in the mail for my new insurance, so I need to handle all of that. And I paid all the bills this morning. We had to pay our internet bill, phone bill, both car payments are due today. I paid mine. I'm paying my husband's after work. I need to run to Target and get my favorite creamer. I have to show it to y'all. I've been using the Coffee Mate cinnamon roll and I kind of came upon this by accident because we went in Target to get 
just some random things that we needed air on my arm tickling me um and they didn't have the International Delight Zero Sugar. They only had the Coffee Mate French Vanilla, which I'm not a huge fan of, and the Coffee Mate Hazelnut, which my husband really likes. So we got his and I said, well, they have cinnamon roll, and I mean, it sounded good. So I got it, and I actually really enjoy it. So I've been using this up. I finished all my caramel macchiato, and I've been looking forward to using this every morning. And you guys know I like to put cinnamon sugar on top, sprinkle it on top of my coffee, so that just accentuates this. So, I literally did not buy creamer in my grocery order on purpose because I'm going to go to Target and pick up two or three cases of, two or three bottles of the cinnamon roll uh, creamer. Even my husband really likes it. He tried a little bit of my coffee yesterday. So, when he runs out of his hazelnut, we'll both just be using cinnamon roll. So, I'm picking up a couple of those so we have enough. So, yeah, grocery haul. I need to clean up. I made chicken parm and broccoli last night for dinner and the kitchen is still a mess. I still have the dishes sitting up there that I did not soak, so that's gonna be fun. I have dishes in the sink and my dishwasher is full. So I need to handle the kitchen. Um, oh darn, I meant to ask my husband. <laughs> I meant to ask my husband to pull down our pillow covers um, because we took the holiday covers off, washed the pillows, and now they're just on the bed, on the couch, just bare because they're way, way, way up high, and I don't have, I'm not tall enough, and I'm not digging through all the stuff to get them down, so, um, hubby needs to get those down for me, and I meant to ask him to do it, uh, yesterday, last night, or this morning before he left, but I forgot, so, anyway, that's what I'm getting into today, and the rest of my day, apart from working and taking care of just the usual things around the house, I also want to clean up the bathroom a little bit, because it's kind of dirty, and that needs to get taken care of, and the cats need fresh litter, um, they use the crystals so the good thing about the crystals is it's good for like a three weeks to a month if you have two cats it definitely won't last you four or five weeks they usually last us about three weeks sometimes four if they don't mess it up too bad but let's change it every four weeks and give them fresh crystals so it's time to change crystals so that needs to be done the floor needs to be um vacuumed in there so i'm just going to put the robo vac in there and close the door and let the robo vac do its thing and then um clean off the counter because it's just nasty you know how your bathroom counter you can just like see like hair and just little just stuff water spots and all kinds of stuff so I need to clean up in there so it's gonna be a really chill relaxed day I'm not going to stress about making this video too long or too short or whatever whatever um, footage I can get um, to bring you guys along for a realistic what I eat a realistic um, day in the life then that is what we'll do but all I know is picking up my camera makes me feel better you guys can probably tell my mood peps up already just a little bit just from kind of chatting with you guys about my every day that's what I was doing making myself iced coffee so I'm going to make my iced coffee and get back on the line um, but yeah I just kind of wanted to start this vlog out and I hope you guys enjoy coming along and hanging out with me for my very realistic day I only got a little bit of coffee left, not much, but it's enough to enjoy a little treat. So I'm going to put some ice in here, and yeah, I'll bring you guys along for my day. I hope you guys do enjoy today's video. Will we wake, hear the birds and see the sun, side by side our fears are done, all the good times just begun. Hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy But things are finally right With you and I The future is bright Hold on tight. Found 
It is 4.30 on the dot and I am off of work. Work was good. I am so thankful that I had a good day at work <laughs> because on top of like not being in the best mood and then like work being awful, that would have made for a glorious day. It is cold out here. Oh, goodness. Came outside to see. It's so pretty out. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, you can. Maybe kinda sorta. The sun is shining but it's so pretty out it's very pretty very sunny it's just cold <sighs> but now that work is over with i'm going to i think i'm going to take a nice hot warm shower that is so good for my mental health taking a hot bath or a hot shower does wonders for my mental health i just feel like it's a little bit of me time i just i love it so much so i'm gonna go do that and then uh get in the kitchen and uh clean up the dishes and that way the dishwasher can run while i'm gone and it's 4 30 and my groceries are due to be delivered between five and six so that's kind of perfect timing um because by the time i get done taking my shower taking my time taking a nice hot shower and then um uh finishing up the kitchen my god my brain is not working today by the time I finish up the kitchen and take my hot shower and get changed um, and get just about ready to head out um, the groceries will be here and I can bring those in film the grocery haul and then um, head out and go to Target and then get the money for our car note so another thing that I noticed today when I checked my uh, YouTube studio app is that I am less than 5,000 views away from a um, hundred thousand views that is insane Thank you guys so much for that. That definitely put me in a good mood. And then um, our little community is growing here every single day. And I just, I love that. It brings me so much joy. Just know that every single time y'all view my videos, every single time you guys give my video a thumbs up and you comment, you know, and when you subscribe and when you invite folks to come over and subscribe and, and hang out with us, just know that you're getting me one step closer to the life that I want and um the dream that i've been praying for and, and wanting for so so long so i'm very grateful for you all i do not know what i'm going to do with myself when my channel hits 100,000 views that is insane that's completely insane and then we're getting closer and closer every day to 3,000 subscribers so it's just it's a wonder how you how youtube how creating content how vlogging um shifts my mood i just Y'all have no idea how grateful I am for this community. So, anyway. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get this dishwasher loaded and get this kitchen straightened up a little bit. That pan that had the chicken parm in it last night is going to have to soak because it is awful. Like, I didn't soak it or anything. I just left it sitting on my stove as is. Um, <clears throat> so, I'm going to have to let that soak. But everything else I should be able to wash up and or get in the dishwasher and then hop in the shower when the groceries get here film a grocery haul and then um i'll probably go ahead and bring the camera with me when i go to target just to pick up the few things that i need and then i'll head back home and then i will catch up with you guys probably the next time i talk to the vlog at all it's probably going to be either after the groceries get here and or when we get back home from target
I just finished cleaning my bathroom, broke a sweat, literally took a shower just to clean and break a sweat. It's 5.43 and my order is still not here yet. They said it is on, is it on the way? Yeah. On the way. So, once that gets here, um, I'll quickly film my uh, grocery haul, get everything put up, and then I'm going to head out the door. I'm only going to put the cold stuff up. I'm going to let the not cold stuff sit out until I get back because I don't want to waste too much more time because it's already almost 6. And, I mean, shoot, by the time I... Now that I'm thinking about it, it's almost 6. By the time my groceries get here, I get them all put away. I leave. I go to Target, get what I need, which Target's like 10 minutes from me. Get to Target. So I have to drive to Target and drive back. That's 20 minutes. And then I have to be in Target. That's probably another 20, 30 minutes. So it'll take me like an hour. So I won't even make it back home until like 7. So, um, I wouldn't be shocked if I choose just to just not go. It just depends on when my order gets here. Um... So, we'll play it by ear. We'll see. But I got the bathroom cleaned up. Everything's clean in the bathroom. The litter box is completely cleaned out. I've just got it sitting up, air drying, and I've just took everything up off the floor while the RoboVac runs in there because honestly, I don't feel like sweeping it. And then once the RoboVac gets done in there, um, then I'm washing the rugs that are in the bathroom right now. So, I'm washing those. And then I pulled the little litter catching mats out as well, knocked those off. And they're just waiting on the robo, robo back to finish. Once that's finished, I'll bring pull everything back down. Um, and then that'll pretty much be it. I have a few dishes soaking. That casserole dish that had the chicken parm in it and then a couple of pots. Um, I'm going to check on that chicken parm dish after I put the groceries up. I feel like <clears throat> it'll have soaked long enough for me to be able to spray the food residue out of it and get that in the dishwasher as well. And I've just decided the dishwasher is not full enough to start because I'm all about I'm all about being efficient with our water and like the dishwasher liquid and all that. So the dishwasher liquid. So anyway, I'm gonna sit down, give me an excuse to wait on this order. I'm gonna watch a little TV and rest. I have literally broken a sweat cleaning that bathroom, <laughs> and then I don't have the air turned up very low, turned down very low today because it's in the 50s, right? Oh. It just went up to 60. Oh, I'm lying. 58 degrees currently. So that's why I haven't had the air on much throughout the day because it's cool outside and I've been opening up the back door because the boys like to go outside and play in the back door anyway. So oh, if I choose to go to the store, I'll be bringing y'all with me. And if I choose to not go to the store, then we'll just continue our vlog here at the house, which is my favorite place to be anyway. And this is why I do not do Walmart grocery pickup. It's 641. My groceries are not here yet. So I called to check on them. They said someone showed up like at 2 or 3 p.m. Even though my order wasn't supposed to be ready until 5. So of course they left. So then they had to find a new driver. I don't think they found a new driver. And they're saying it won't be here until 8. The problem is on the app it showed it was ready and on the way since like 440. So I've been sitting here for two hours since 641. Excuse me. Wondering why my food is not here. My groceries aren't here and Walmart's 15 minutes away. And I'm wondering why it's taking this driver two hours to get to me. So I explained to the gentleman on the phone. I said that's fine if you needed to get a new driver and there was an issue. I said but. I didn't get that information. I said everything seemed to be fine. There were substitutions. Did that. And then at like 4.45, almost 5 o'clock, I was notified that my food was on the way. So I'm thinking it's taking, I'm thinking they're walking the food here. Anyway, I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed. But I just was nice to the man. I tried to show the man grace. I did show the man grace. I wasn't mean to him, but I just told him, I was like, you know, I had other things that I wanted to take care of tonight and i stayed home and didn't do those things because i didn't want my food to be sitting outside of the front door um anyway he gave me a um like a promo code for next time to be uh just nice because we did it's an in it was it is an inconvenience the food hadn't made it to me yet if i would have known it wasn't coming until closer to eight then i would have went on ahead and ran to target and now that's another thing it's 6:45, and if the food doesn't get here in the next 15 minutes i'm not gonna have anything to cook because my kitchen literally has nothing you guys know i we eat everything out the house before we replenish i don't like to keep 
stuff. So that is frustrating. So, I mean, we may not have no choice but to go sit down somewhere and eat, which isn't the end of the world, but it's also kind of annoying because we didn't really want to spend too much extra this check if we could help it. So I'm going to have to call or text my husband and see what he wants to do. But yeah, this RoboVac has been running in the bathroom since a, like an hour and a ago, an hour ago, the last time I filmed the clip. So I'm sure this floor is like sparkling clean on the inside. I'm going to get the litter laid down and get the mats put down and then just continue watching a little bit of Heart of Dixie and chit chatting with um, my girlfriend Christy and just um, I'm chit chatting with Christy and Sarah tonight and then one of my coworkers, her name is Janelle. I've just been chatting with all of them tonight. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do until my order gets here if it gets here tonight. He did tell me that the orders run until eight. So if I don't see my order in the next hour, he did tell me to call back. So here's to hoping I get my order. So love Walmart grocery delivery because I don't have to do all the work. I can just have somebody else do it. But this is why I don't love Walmart grocery. And if physically I felt like I could get out the house and go get all the groceries, I would do it. But I just physically just feel like I just physically cannot so anyway I'm gonna finish up with the bathroom and then sit down and watch a little bit of TV and then I'll get back on here and update y'all <laughs> if and when my groceries show up this has turned out to be a very realistic very grumpy Kendra type of vlog but oh well here for the realistic I did wash up my pots all I have to do now is rinse this uh, dish out and put it in the dishwasher so that's what I've been doing. I also wiped down my countertops and I febrezed my couches and just kind of straightened up out here a little bit. And I took the laundry out of the dryer. My husband had some laundry in the dryer, so I took that out and it's sitting on the bed. I guess I could go in there and work on that. Um, and then I need to move the rugs over to the dryer so those can dry. Um, but it's 6.44 and my husband gets off in 45 minutes. So I need to go ahead and reach out to him because if he decides that you know let's just go ahead and go out and get food then that's what we'll do um because the groceries aren't here which is really annoying and like i said even if the groceries do get here it even if the groceries get here at seven by the time i film and get everything put up and then cook we'll be eating at like 8 30 and that's just too late we normally eat like i usually have dinner done right when my husband walks in the door so like where you were literally eating at like 7 40 and we're done with dinner by eight so to eat at almost nine o'clock is just too late for us so anyway i'm done rambling that's what's going on <laughs> and the groceries finally made it uh they got here at 7 30 so uh yeah they got here at 7 30 and for context it's 8 16 that's how long it takes me to just bring it from my literally front porch my front door inside set it all up film it put it all away so um this refrigerator has food in it thank the lord i did not buy that orange juice if you watch my grocery haul you'll know that that just showed up so everything's here freezer is stocked it looks so good and then i have chicken back there that i pre-portioned and then we also got some steaks and some carbs smart ice cream like all the goodies so you have to make sure you watch the grocery haul i don't know if it'll be up before or after this vlog but um <laughs> regardless it took a minute for my stuff to get here and then in the pantry i didn't get too too much i just have um his peach cups there popcorn there and then just a couple of little odds and ends that i restocked in there so i like to keep as you can tell only the food that we actually eat i don't need a bunch of extra stuff that's just sitting in my pantry so anyway <clears throat> and then i guess i'll give you guys this little sneak peek literally because i'm so excited about them if you've tried these let me know but they're the la banderita brand carb counter but they're street taco size and the street taco size is zero carbs when i tell you i'm excited about these and i prefer the teeny tiny tortillas so there's five net five carbs but five fibers so zero zero net carbs and we're having tacos oh my gosh i'm so excited to eat those so and this spread if you watch the last grocery haul you know that this was a substitute but my husband is obsessed with it he loves it so i actually end up picking that up again and then we're all out of napkins so a little garlic clove so yeah 
groceries are ordered praise the lord i don't have my viewfinder and that feels weird to not see myself there i am <laughs> oh i wanted to share this with you guys so you know i just shared my bath and body works haul i love bath and body works for two things and two things only their hand soaps and their candles but i didn't see any candles that had good sales when i went in there uh, earlier this week but another brand of candle that i love is the walmart candles let me know if you ever tried walmart candles and let me know if you haven't because girl what are you doing the walmart candles are so good it smells so good this is the cranberry mandarin which is kind of like a og scent if you know about this mainstays cranberry Man cranberry mandarin comment down below it's cranberry currant and sweet orange oh goodness gracious it is very good and the best part about it is it's a three wick candle it's massive just like the bath and body works candles these don't have as long of a burn life but they burn for a very long time now they're not going to burn all season like bath and body works will um but they do burn like you can get almost a month worth of burn time out of them if you don't burn them 24 hours so it's a three wick it's huge you see it in my hand i don't even know if it tells me the ounces um but the best part about it is oh they're 11.5 ounces the best part about it is they're less than four dollars they're like 390 something or 380 something i don't know they're less than four dollars and the ones at bath and body works are 24 dollars and even when the ones at bath and body works go on sale for ten dollars off that's still fifteen dollars four dollars and these are great and walmart has so many scents and i'm probably going on and on and on and all of you are like duh kendra everybody knows walmart has candles and they're really really good but i had to share because these are good candles i love them so much so um i still buy my bath and body works especially when i get really discounts and i can stack coupons sorry about the light guys and i can stack coupons and all the things but yes 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 i love the walmart ones just as equally so very excited about this one walmart has one called cozy comfort i want to try that one next and then they also have my back was it just, and they also have a plain vanilla that i've never tried either so if you've tried the plain vanilla or the cozy comfort let me know because those are going to be the next two cents i grab um i don't like to order stuff like this on delivery or pickup because i like to smell it first but if i don't have a chance to be in walmart and check them out i'm just going to order them and then if i don't love them i can gift them or give them away or return them so or exchange them or whatever but anyway figured i would share that with you guys groceries are put up this is a very strange vlog and i mean strange <clears throat> I wasn't having a good day today um and then everything seemed to kind of be working against me and i'm not gonna lie part of me was like i'm not gonna post this video sorry about the light part of me was like i'm not gonna post this video half of the video was me complaining about you know just not being in the best mood the other part of the video was saying hey i'm gonna leave you a link down below and you can get you know 20 dollars off which is great you know you can get 20 bucks off of your order that's awesome but then my order was an hour and a half late and nobody wants to deal with that um but that doesn't happen all the time and i feel like this is it just is what it is this is a perfect example of my actual real <laughs> life and how things tend to work out for me so i'm posting the video it's going up it's a bit of a hot mess i wasn't in the best mood i'm dog tired it's 8 22 and i still have not figured out dinner because the food showed up late <sighs> but whatever it is what it is i'll probably throw hot dogs in the air fryer or whatever and we'll just call it a night it is what it is but i hope that this really hot mess of a realistic very frustrating very emotional day in the life vlog just i hope it resonated with you in some weird way that this is what life is and content creators they don't always their life isn't always like working out and life isn't always perfect and things don't always just happen in their face. It doesn't work out that like I'm I'm human. I'm a real person. And sometimes my days just don't work out well. Sometimes I wake up super emotional and stressed about life. And my groceries are almost two hours late. And I can't get my camera angles right with the camera I'm trying to end the video. So I hope that you guys see that I'm just a real person. Which I know you guys knew that already. But something about just a really authentically frustrating vlog. <laughs> I'm not gonna try to make this pretty or add anything extra to make it seem like a normal run of the mill day because it was not a normal run of the mill day. But God is still good. His grace is still sufficient. Um, 
and I'm just glad that I made it through the day. I am in a much better mood, happy to be off of work. Um, I've just been chilling at home all day, waiting on my order. That was an hour and a half late. So anyway, it turned out to be a good day. Could have been the Lord telling me, just sit down somewhere you need rest. Anyway, you ain't going nowhere. Who knows? He knows, he knows best. So with all that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Um, I thank you guys for being here, loving me, literally for me and nothing more, nothing less. Um, I'm excited for, I'm just excited for my channel. It's growing. I'm excited that y'all are here. I'm excited that you guys hang out with me on the good days, the bad days, the weird days, the frustrating days. Um, and you guys just enjoy my content, whatever that may be. So I'll catch you guys real, real soon in another video. And here's to hoping to get in back to some normalcy and some normal day in the life vlogs. I love you guys so much. I will talk to y'all in my next video. Bye-bye.